Hey there. I haven't seen you around here before. You must be new. I'm Sergeant First Class Rico Delgado of the Wolf Bat, but you can just call me Mouse. A legend, huh? Out here in the frontier, everyone is the same in my eyes. The moment you're cut off guard could spell the end for you. I've seen many young lives cut short due to their cockiness. It's an ironic name I used to fool my foes into underestimating me. You wouldn't expect someone with a name like Mouse to be some big grizzly veteran armed with a heavy machine gun. They're good soldiers, all of them, even Hotshot. Uh, I've been a member of the Wolf Pack a long time. I've seen many killed and replaced. I try not to get too attached to the new members. It just makes it easier to deal with, you know? As the oldest member of the Wolf Pack, I mostly advise other members. I still go out on missions, but not as often as I used to. Uh, I hope this war comes to an end soon. I'm getting too old for this line of work. I trust he knows what he's doing. I'm not one to question his orders. But I'm all for a peaceful solution over our misgrievance with the NCR back home. I just wish to return my family in the Mojave. It's been four years since I last seen or heard from them. See you around. One person? Shut up, man. I'm just saying. Do the math. And for one guy? It's not our job to do the math. Yes, sir. Let's show these Legion fucks they messed with the wrong guys. Man. So, there's more than one of you, piss. Hey, look, whoever you are, I had that situation perfectly under control. Don't you go stealing all the credit now. Huh. I am Cedric Stone, captain of the Brave Fang. My mission here, to assault the Zagruld structure, has been sanctioned by the Earth Defense Force. I'm fairly confident whatever your mission here was, has not. Yeah, probably not, but as you can see by what's behind me, it turned out pretty alright in the end. I'll gracefully accept my big reward from the Grand General, and we'll pretend we never met, okay? You're a bounty hunter! I figured you were too reckless to be a proper member of the Redeemers. You will toss your weapon aside and join us on the Brave Fang. We have questions for you. And that Redeemer Red. Amelia, she's safe? Hmm. You'll know if you come along right now. Yeah. Okay. I, Hudson, of Planet Ilenia Elder, hereby pledge my undying loyalty to Prince Cedric of Planet Earth. Uh, of course I'm not falling for... <coughs> Save your bullets, Private Skura. Munitions aren't easy to come by these days. Except for all the fancy laser tech, of course. He was only here to collect. We'll learn all we need to know from the Redeemer Rat. Troopers, the mission is a success. The dome has been secured and the threat is no more. Every one of you is getting a vacation. And I hope it's not Venus again. All right, Dominator. End of the line for you. Huh? Welcome back, Bounty Hunter. I didn't expect to see you again. I don't tend to see people my men shot to death very often. Bounty Hunter! Kill this human now! Well, Captain, I couldn't just stay dead while you were letting a bird destroy the world. Really, now? Once again, you run around recklessly and interfere in matters that don't concern you. That will not be tolerated. You see, the way things work around here is that lawbreakers like you end up penalized for their actions. And you've dodged your punishment for far too long.
This time, I'll make sure you stay dead. I should have ordered the sergeant to destroy your corpse. Too bad you were just about as strong as a caged bird. You... How did you escape your cell? Previously on screen. Hello? Hi again, Claire. Where the hell is Jade? I'll tell you where she is, but it's going to cost you. How much money? Not money. A name! What do you mean? Jade didn't want to give a name. And now you have to, or she dies! Jade! Hi, Claire. Oh, fuck you. We had a deal. Where's Jade? Here's a little hint. You're getting warmer. What? Hi. Did you like the live stream? Please. Just... Why are you doing this? Because it's fun, Claire. And you actually decided to play my games. And it will continue! Oh, fuck you. Oh, Claire. Can I ask you a question? No, just leave me alone. Claire, do you know what it's like to be buried alive? No. Why? Because Ayana is almost out of air. What? You have ten minutes. Here are the coordinates. Are you mad you got dirty? <laughs> this isn't a fucking game! Oh, but it is, Scarlet. Would you like to go back to the hospital? Because I'll be happy to put you back there! I'm <laughs> and when you told me how Unishippers helped you save, I decided to give them a try as well. Business at my camping store was booming, but I was afraid that something else would too. My propane shipments. I was so nervous that I hired an outside team to help. It got expensive fast. Turns out I should have worked with Unishippers right from the beginning. My personal shipping consultant taught me everything I needed to know about shipping hazardous items. So now my shipments get to the customer faster and cheaper. All right, that's close enough. Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Why don't you tell me who you are first? Name's Roscoe. That's Chief Roscoe, by the way. Now it's your turn. What are you doing here? I'm just exploring. Looking for salvage. I know it might look like it, but this isn't some junk town you can strip for parts. We got rules around here. There are places where you can do some trading, but we don't tolerate any trouble. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? I think you got the wrong idea about this place, bub. We're not vault dwellers. Vault 4 has never opened. Anyway. I'm not really supposed to turn people away unless it's obvious they're trouble. Man, you seem all right to me. So, welcome to Fourville. And before you say anything about the name, don't bother. I didn't come up with it. The mayor likes to meet all new visitors, so the town hall should be your first stop. If you have a crime to report, come find me. If you commit a crime, the next person you'll be talking to is my rifle. I hope we're clear. Oh, 
Hey, buddy. I need to talk to you. Hey there. Do you have a crime to report? Tell me more about this vault. Go bother Longbottom, in the museum, if you want to know anything about that. If you've got a security matter, ask away. Otherwise, leave me be. What's the security like around here? Now you're asking questions I'd like to answer. Fourville security is in tip-top shape. My god here is in shambles. But a bit of military discipline whipped him right into shape. <laughs> you were a soldier? With what army? Ah, this was a long time ago. I lived out west. It was all very boring, really. Just filing work. But it was discipline. You better believe it. You're upset about something, I can tell. You're a smart one, aren't you? Yeah. The army was a hard time for me. It was for everyone. But I don't like to talk about it. I don't have anything to report. Then why are you wasting my time? If you want to chit-chat, go talk to Sanders. All she does is sit on her ass at that desk all day. Excuse me. I know that look. It's about my army service, isn't it? What happened? Come with me. I think we need to have a talk. I'll explain everything. Follow me, and I'll tell you everything you want to know. <clears throat> I always loved the water. I think some of my best memories in Nevada were looking out on Lake Mead. It's a shame the water here is so dirty. Like in Nevada, it's completely clean and still, there's nothing more beautiful than watching the sun set from over dam. I lied to you about my army service because when I was discharged, I just wanted to leave it all behind. I walked out on everything. My home, my family, all the ideals of the Republic. And I just wanted to get as far away from it as possible. And that's why I came to the other side of the country. I need to put as much physical distance between myself and what happened. I suppose deep down I wanted someone to find out. That's why I kept my things. I need to take responsibility. The water? The water relaxes me. Reminds me of better times. I was in the army back in California. It was a new California Republic, where I grew up. I was stationed in Nevada, guarding a place called Hoover Dam. The place was a mess when we got there. Raider tribes and junkies whipping each other apart. And the big players were all vying for the dam. One of the tribes, the Great Khans, it was a lot of trouble back in that day. We tracked a group of them to a place called Bitter Springs. We were expecting it to be full of armed raiders, and our orders were to shoot until we ran out of ammo. That's what we did. 
God only knows how many we killed before we realized they were women, children, and the sick and the elderly. We didn't know whether to stop or carry on. The Major just stood there. She just watched as we killed them. She froze up, they said afterwards. How could you do that? You should have intervened. So, you agree then? I'd lie awake at night thinking the exact same thing. In the end, someone else intervened and stopped it all. You know what the worst part was? They promoted me for it. Exceptional bravery, they said. Shame on them. As soon as I could, I left the army and went as far away from California as I could get. Now here we are. It's all caught up with me. I realize now that there's no sense in hiding from it. I need to take responsibility for what I did. I need to be punished. I want you to kill me. Is there anything I can say that will change your mind? There's nothing. I've been thinking about this for a long time. The only thing that stopped me from killing myself is because there'd be no one to remember what happened. Now, you know my story. It's up to you to remember it. You can't be serious. I'm afraid I am. I thought about this for a long time. Now you're here. Now you've heard my story. I think it's the right time. I want you to kill me. All right, I'll do it. Thank you. You're doing the right thing. It's what I deserve. Come on, do it. Shoot me dead. What are you waiting for? Kill me already! What's your problem? Why don't you just kill me? I've always found that the best way to heal is to help others do the same. I, I think I hear what you're saying. If I'm gonna make it right, then I need to help people. Thanks for your advice. I think I know exactly who I need to help if I want to bring about healing. I'll see you on the caravan trail. <clears throat> Hopefully I can do some good here. And make up for what I've done. The City of Akoi presents Florida's number one free country music festival on Friday, November 2nd and Saturday, November 3rd. Akoi Founders Day Festival kicks off its 25th anniversary in the heart of Central Florida at Akoi's Bill Breeze Park. Featuring 25th anniversary sponsors City Furniture and City Center West Orange with Friday night performances by Orlando Spade Cooley, Nashville's own contemporary country trio Runaway June, American Idol winner Scotty McCreary, and country music sensation Jake Owen. Saturday promises to be an epic day that starts at 7.30 a.m. with Chick-fil-A's 8th Annual 5K and Kids Fun Run, followed by the Fab Five Fishing Tournament at Stark Lake and the Classic Car Show on Bluford Avenue and McKee Street. At Bill Breeze Park, festival activities commence as early as 9 a.m. Attendees can enjoy an array of festival food, carnival rides for the kids, a unique marketplace, beer garden, and unforgettable music performances by the Greg Warren Band. Serious XM radio personality, Elizabeth Cook, singer, songwriter, Drake White, country music hitmaker, Easton Corbin, and headliners and legends, Big and Rich. The evening closes out with an amazing fireworks display. For more information, visit akoefoundersfestival.org. We look forward to seeing you and celebrating 25 years together. No, not by chance. I came to burn for a reason. I had a purpose. A purpose? The bandits that used to live in the Talaver Mountains. They are no more. I destroyed the bandits of Talaver. Why? Why did you do such a thing? The bandits of Talaver were my enemies! They were mine too! Lady Lindus, if you truly wished revenge upon them, you should be happy. Hatred can be strength. On the plains, you needed that strength to survive, but left too long. 
Hatred can twist and consume you. <sighs> the blood of your parents flows in your veins. That you live must bring them no end of joy. But for you to be filled with such hate, is this what your parents would have wished for? But... but I... My words now may not reach you. I know that. Still, Lady Lindis, listen. I pray that your heart will not be clouded, for you have the clear eyes of your mother, and in clarity lies beauty. Ah! Who are you? What do you want? I'll arrest you for trespassing! My name is Rick Rogers, paranormal investigator. Sheriff Andy Malone sent me to ask you about the hook man. Are you Oliver Nelson? Well, damn. It's not a conversation I can have sober. You have any booze? And grab us a couple empty glasses. <laughs> 